Bingo, bango, here we go. Oh. Oh. It's been a while. Been a strong while since I've said it. But, old times a charm, I guess. Let's talk about our best friend, Smuggle Nuts, and how he ruined a show. So it came out, I think, Monday or Sunday, that Empire's ending. <laughs> Finally, bad TV is leaving. All, all the bad shows are getting the fuck. Oh, such, a, such a great day. But um, let, let's talk about it. Um, a lot of people, including me, seem to believe that uh, old Smuggle Nuts is the reason. And, uh, yes, 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 yes. Think about it. This, this wasn't coming out of the blue. Like, as far as I knew, the people that I know watch Empire seem, seem to love it. They got their criticisms here and there, but overall, they say it's a good show for them. Me, I don't watch shit like that. I, 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 I my, my, my black ass still watch SpongeBob. I, I watch '90s cartoons because TV now sucks. Like, I watch the occasional thing that grabs my attention, but overall, shit ain't like what it used to be. But is it, is it fair? Let, let me, let me, the person who has held the flag on Smuggle Nuts, is it fair that he's being blamed for the show ending? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, this whole fucking thing started because of him. Hey, you want to fake an attack? You, you you got fired basically. They 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 didn't say you were fired, but they're they're doing season six without you. They they have no plans for you. you. You got nothing. You you have nothing to go on now. And I, I see you chilling out in L.A. while your fucking family moves you out of Chicago, so you can so you don't have to face Chicago strong. But but you. Smuggle Nuts ha have been the greatest embarrassment for gays and black people of 2019. You set the bar so low for not just gays, lesbians, bisexuals, trans, queers, every type of sexual that goes through shit like this. Because now... They're going to all say, hey, you're lying. No, no one believes you. And uh, it's still funny to this day that people believe this dude. It's dramatic how far people will go to try to discredit me because I don't believe him. And I always enjoy when people say I don't believe him because he's black. Hello. Being black ain't got shit to do with this. I think I've said it four times. If my favorite actor, Stephen Amell, who is a white male, came out and lied about being attacked because he was white and he's on a show that's about to end next season, and it came out he was lying, I would have... I would be so disappointed in him. I... I would be disappointed because he lied and tried to paint a picture of people that didn't do him anything. And he staged it for attention. I never, I don't give a fuck how, how many black people knew Jesse. The entire world did not know this motherfucker until about the end of January or February, whenever that shit started. Not a lot of people knew him. And that, that's, and that's, and you could be mad and say, he's a celebrity. But no, not a lot of people knew Jesse before this. But he's known now. He's known as the, the $5 foot long masturbator. He's known as Tyrone's bitch. He's known as Subway's worst enemy. He's known as Subway's greatest publicity scandal. He's known as Chicago's least favorite daughter. Like, 
he made this mess, he's got a line. And the funniest part is, he has ruined like careers. He he's made Kim Fox this joke that sent fake death threats to herself. Like she she he's she's made Kim Fox pull a Jesse Smoley. And that's sad. That's that's truly fucking sad. It's funny. It's it's funny to me. Um He's made his, his cast and crew look like idiots for defending him. And now, the show's ending. And everybody's going to pin it on Jesse. Rightfully so, too. Because I, I, I've i never seen an episode of Empire, but I feel like if this didn't happen, Empire would probably have, what, two more seasons? Maybe. You could maybe say it would have ended anyway, but I say it would have had two more seasons. Or was it on, like, season three at this point? I don't know. I don't watch the fucking show. Um, let's, let's... He painted this mess for himself. He painted the perfect masterpiece. He, he made this elaborate ruse. But the problem was, and it always started with this, it wasn't the fact that he went to get food at 2 in the morning. A lot of people do that. It wasn't the fact that he called himself Gay Tupac. It wasn't the fact that he... Oh, what, what did he do? What did he... What did he, he, he... At first, that they were MAGA hats in MAGA country. First, they were white. Now, they turn out to be black and Nigerian and they brothers. And one of them's a fucking boxer. The problem for me, where it made no sense... Was It was 2 in the morning, negative 20 plus degree weather in Chicago. Around that time, it was still snowing. That's the problem. That was the main thing about this story that killed his credibility for me. When he said he went out at 2 in the morning to get food, I was like, oh, okay. Believable so far. But then I heard Chicago. And I'm going to never forget because that same day I was reading shit about how it's like record lows in Chicago. It's snowing in Chicago. This is a problem. People, schools are being canceled left and right. That That's when I lost like all credibility for this dude. That's when I said, oh, this motherfucker's lying. And I stood my ground. I made these videos. I made every fucking thing known of what was going on at the time. And look where we are today. I'm right. I was always right. I told y'all. I told y'all. The skinny guy always wins. And in this case, I've done well. I've done well providing you the, the evidence as it came out about him, the brothers, him being sued. Not him being sued. His, his lawyers got sued by the brothers. Kim Fox. Kim Fox's bullshit, Kim Fox and the fake death threats. This was all because of Jesse. And now, now his one saving grace, the thing that made him famous, is going away. And it's his fault. It's not, oh, oh they're, they're, they have no more ideas, or Fox is tired of this. Like, no. This all started with smuggle nuts and the show is gonna end because of smuggle nuts and for everybody that's still defending them what are you defending at this point he lied he may get away with it but you know how many people get away with bigger shit you know how many people get away with school shootings and they cover that shit up with mental illness like come on now he, he lied, he ruined, he lied, he ruined lies, he ruined a show that probably wasn't that good. And that's the end of it. And so we will mark it down as a history in time when one man besmirched an entire show, a cast of people, the gay community, and a small percentage of the black community. Because he ain't besmirched me. Why? I'm Chicago strong, baby. Like the video, share it, comment, 
if you're a Jesse Smollett fan, anybody who watches Empire that watches this, tell me about the show. I, I don't know a damn thing about the show, and I don't want to know about the show. But anyway, like the video, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.